Hi, I'm Jesse. I'm Kellen. We're from Sleeping with Sirens. We are indeed. You're watching the Kerrang Podcast. So funny. Hello and welcome to the Kerrang Podcast here with Jesse and Kellen from Sleeping with Sirens. Uh, how is Leeds for you on the Slam Dunk uh, circuit? It's great, man. Perfect show. Couldn't have asked for a better show. Yeah, it was good. It was cool. Yeah, yeah you, you've been like playing some UK dates. Then, uh, mm -hmm. uh, are you a finely honed touring machine right now? Uh, I don't think we've ever been a finely honed touring machine. We're kind of just kind of one of those bands that uh, make or break it, right? Is that what you're saying? Yeah, make it or break it. Go big or go home. Well, you're still here, so you weren't big. Yeah, I guess so. Yeah? yeah. Excellent. So, uh, which bands have you been hanging out uh, with on Sunday? Uh, I've been out with Pierce a lot. Pierce, Tonight Alive. Memphis. Um, yeah, I think that was uh, Pierce, Memphis, and Tonight Alive. Yeah. Tonight Alive. Yeah. Just a blur of high fives and yeah. bruise. A lot of blows of high fives. <laughs> <laughs> That's um, it. <laughs> so uh, you uh, <laughs> you just finished a new album, Feel. We did. Um, how glad are you uh, that it's sort of in the bag now and people are ready to, to hear it. Really yeah, bad. I'm stoked. We're we're doing this thing where we release like a song a day. Like yesterday we released a new song. The day before that we released a new song. Today we're releasing a new song, and then tomorrow we're just gonna stream the whole thing. Um, so it's, it's been cool. Kids definitely get to hear. Um, a wide variety of the tracks on the record and it's been really awesome, really yeah. good response. Like when the announcement uh, first track uh, was, you know, you know, we kind of we used, worried about looking at like Twitter and Facebook or yeah. you know, like just hit and refresh to see what the feedback is like. No, I, I think that for us and our band it's just we are the type of people that want to play the music we want to play and I think that even if the response is kind of slow or fast or whatever, like we take it as it is and we back what we write and that's just the way our band works, you know? And when we put out Let's Cheers, we got a lot of negative stuff for a while because it was too different and now that record is a lot of people's favorite records. So I think it just takes people time to understand that you innovate and change. Um, did you carry any of that negativity from the previous album into the studio? You know, were you writing? Uh, no, we were on a high from the the second record into the studio. I'd say like, yeah. we're ready to write new songs, and Let's Cheers has been doing really, really well. It did, it just broke a hundred thousand, didn't it? Mm -hmm. It's really good. Um, right, it's called Slam Dunk. Britain knows nothing about basketball really, mm -hmm. uh, apart from it sounds good. Uh, you know the phrase. Uh, but, uh, could you could you give us a synopsis of that sport? I'm stoked on this one. Yeah. You can All right. Here's how slam dunk works. There's a lot of girls in the world, right? What you want is a three pointer because they're harder to make. There's so many slam dunks around, especially at shows like this. Don't want to take home a slam dunk. Can't take them home to mom at all. Nope. What you want is a three pointer. And if you can, possibly a half court shot. And half court shot is really rare. Really rare. That's yeah, it's like the YouTube rarest. Viral videos. It's like the rarest you can find. And if you can find one of those, there it is. Put the ring on the finger. Yep. How many points do you get for a half court shot? You get just happiness. Yeah, just, Love. Right. yeah, you get well three points. So technically, you just settle for a three pointer, I guess. Settle. No, you don't want to. No, sorry, I take that back. Uh, <laughs> Three pointers are good. Half courts are good. No slam dunks. No slam dunks. Mm -mm. What about the uh, the tr tracksuit pants that you can just take off with the uh, press studs? What what does that mean right now? The pants that you can just take off, yeah. like the button ones. Uh, yeah, girls that are slam dunks love those because yeah. they're just real fast. We got a girl that knows how to take a belt off. Yeah, that's a with one hand and shit. That's that's what's up. It's getting X rated now. <laughs> Uh, <laughs> Still PG-13. Oh yeah, always. Uh, <laughs> wasn't expecting that. Uh, who's your favorite basketball team? Actual sport, not women related. Portland Trailblazers would be mine. I'd say the Suns. Well, actually not really anymore because Steve Nash left. So now I'm just going to have to So now I'm just going to have to go with my home state to do the Blazers. Yeah, yeah. Clyde the Glide, baby. Scotty Pippen. Can't go wrong. Are you Big Rich. <laughs> Were you sporty at, uh, in high school? Or? I tried. I dabbled. I, Jesse was way better at sports than me. I think he was a quarterback and shit. He had all the he had all the cheerleader girlfriends and stuff. It was cool. And a skateboard. We played 
bands. Uh, all at the same time, or did you do that? Yourself? All at the same time. And then I stopped playing football and just played music. Does it hurt when you've got a man who maybe weighs 300 pounds to launch himself at you? But I mean, it sucks. It's not as bad as getting tattooed, that's the worst. Yeah. I mean, you know. You get tattooed. Yeah. What's the last tattoo you both got? Throat. Yeah, I got, I got this one for my mom. Me, ma. I got that one for me, ma. No, this was the last one. <laughs> no, I got this one for me, ma. You like dicks? I like dicks. You like dicks? You like dicks? I like dicks. Uh, get a um, obviously everyone will say how much does a throat tattoo hurt, but compared to uh, the inner arm, is it a whole... Actually, the throat wasn't that bad. The sides of my neck hurt worse than that. Um, but the worst <laughs> tattoo I have is my leg. You've really gone for all of the most painful places you can get tattooed. You might as well. Get out of the way. <laughs> so, um, how, like, what would advice would you give to someone getting the first ever tattoo? It's a big step. A lot of people out there have them, but what would you say if someone's going to a tattoo shop? This is my first tattoo. There's a little note right here. Uh, I'd say get a, get your first tattoo in a spot that is going to be the least painful so you can be used to the pain because it just sucks in general. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, don't go all out and get like a rib tattoo or something. Even though and every any, girl gets that for the first tattoo. Any tattoo artist will tell you like that's going to be really painful for your first tattoo. I will cry. I've never cried. I would. No? Oh, we don't cry. No, dude, we're tough, dude. We're tough guys. It's good. Who's the toughest person in uh, rock, do you think? Toughest person in rock. It's you, isn't it? I'd say, uh, <laughs> I'd say Kenny G is probably the... Yeah. He is tough. We're sealed. Michael Bolton. Sealed. Yeah, because he got burned, didn't he? So, <laughs> so what are you going to do for the rest of the day once you've uh, got your set out of the way? More hangs and high five. <laughs> yeah, hanging out. Watching maybe a show or two. We'll see. You got any more bands you want to check out before you go? Um, I went and saw Andrew McMahon or whatever from something corporate. Last All right. Time. Yeah. It was really good. It was really good. Excellent. Were you a fan of some incorporates? Right? Yeah. yeah. And uh, Jack's music. Cool. So it was cool, and he played like both those, just him and the piano. Oh, wow. It was inspiring. It was cool. Excellent. Uh, I kind of want to check out Alistair just because I was a huge Drive Through Records fan back in the day. So I want to check them. Yeah, I want to check them. Yeah, that's awesome. Yeah, I know. We should go watch it. I want to. So you podcast, you know, it's educational, and you can learn a lot from each other. Yeah, we can. I think we'll get some of that today. We learned a lot from you. And Learned a lot from you. Learned a lot from us. It's all about learning today. Learned a lot from you. So on that, you learned a lot from us. On that, I think it's a perfect time to end. Thank oh, yeah. you for having us. Yeah, thank you for joining us on this. Uh, what kind of blue would you describe this so for us? Sea blue. Let me see what my pure Sky is. blue. So Superman blue. Superman blue. Isn't this actually navy blue though? Right? It might be. Or is navy It's like dark. sky blue, I'd say. I, I think navy might be slightly darker. Maybe a royal. I think you're right. It's a royal blue. Royal blue. blue. Yeah, it is. Yeah, there you go. Good job. Well, see, we learned again. So, so much learning. I think we should get some certificates made uh, right now. Yeah. We'll have a special presentation later, and uh, we'll, we'll see you very soon. Cool. Thanks for having us. Cheers. See ya.